What you guys got another video here for you. This one's uh, called File Restore. It's a rogue and uh, basically runs on the system. It looks very similar to the one I've done about seven month months ago, something like that. Um, but it's a new variant and it's got a few new features and also the key code has been changed. Now this is the same as file recovery. You can use the same key code to register it. So if you've got file restore or file recovery up the top left hand corner here, you can use this method okay so what we've got here is a fake hard drive diagnostic tool what it does it does a scan on your system and says you've uh, got errors on the system and stuff like that now probably your system would not boot if you had these on the system anyway but it's all fake it just puts bogus um, readings up here to tell you your drive is dying and you can fix it with this tool it's all fake and as you can see it gives you a full report and uh, when you click on this you can register the product and I'll show you how to do that you can put any fake email address inside here okay and uh, that will be on the screen right now and the activation code will be on the screen now this is the new one and you can use that to remove this from um, or register this on the system then just click activate now people keep thinking that by putting this code in that it removes it it doesn't remove it what it does it just registers it so you can actually run programs from the desktop ie malwarebytes and any other type of program and it should then remove it okay so don't forget that process I'm not going to go too deep into this uh, because we've covered it quite a lot but basically it puts proxy on the server stops you using the internet uh, stops programs running hides files on the system and they will be in your temp folder so do not empty your temp folder until you've restored everything okay also it would hide your start menu now it's not hiding mine because this is a virtual box and on a live machine it will actually hide all this area and sometimes it does sometimes it don't but if it has then we can restore all this and I'll show you how to do it and the best way to remove this is in safe mobile networking and the instructions should be on the screen right now okay so I'm going to be uh, removing it from the desktop here but you can remove yours from safe mobile networking now there is some tools that you can use and I'll show you how to download those we're going to use sys internals in this case so I'm just going to quickly move this across here so we can see I'm going to hit the computer icon there hit the delete key and then I'm going to type in an actual link And once you've done this this link will be for a direct download so it won't be an actual web page it's a direct download for this program process explorer and uh, what that will do is it will download this so push enter web page will open you won't get a web page um, and that's because the actual program is blocking it but what you will get is this program down the right hand side here just click on save the file and this will allow you to download it onto your desktop drag it onto your desktop you can't copy and paste things it won't allow you to do that here so um, once that's done then you can just run this program and I'll show you how to do that now you can follow it do this process for all your download links these will all be in the description so you can actually get rid of this rogue okay okay so let me just close that off for now and we'll look at the program if you're having trouble running these you can rename them and I'll show you all the renaming names in my description you know I explore anything like that you can rename this file and it will still run but thankfully this will run on this machine now once you've done that what we're going to do here is see this file that's running down the bottom here this is the actual rogue itself and you can see the icon on the desktop as well which tells me it's in program data okay and I'll show you where that is program data is inside here it would be a hidden file so you need to go folder and search options and view show hidden files and folders and drives also take the tick out of high extensions for known file types and click OK inside there this is the culprit this is the one that's causing the issue so what we're going to do is bring this back up I'm going to right click on this and kill the process tree I'm going to click OK here and you should see the rogue disappear 
that's now gone we can now go back to our folder in program data and delete these two files we can now access our uh, right click copy and paste feature so the next thing I would do is once I've done this is download Tixi Road Killer and you've got these links here that we can use now you can either do them from the run bar here that's another area you can run them from just push enter and that download link will come I'm just going to quickly download these and drag them onto my desktop okay the first thing I want to do is run TDSS killer just to make sure that I've got no rootkits dropped on the system that's all clean the next thing I want to do is run road killer accept the agreement run a scan see if there's anything in the tabs here now you can see there's nothing there now what I would do if there is stuff you can hit the delete key but the thing I want to do here is reset fix my proxy settings on and DNS and anything like that okay so you're gonna go fix host first then fix proxy and then fix DNS now this is not the only tool that will do this for you but it's just another tool to scan for any sort of registry keys and stuff and this is great for killing rogues okay that's that one done now we want to run malware bytes on the system and I've already got a copy of malware bytes here installed but if you haven't you can get that direct download link which I will put in the description for you always update to get the latest definitions go to scanner and run a quick scan okay so that's a scan now finished click OK here show the results and that's the only file left that's in the recycle bin you may have a few more here just depends really and then we're going to remove these now after a cleaning process you should do a restart it's asking us to do that but I'm going to say no but you should be saying yes here I'm going to finish with that one now you may have hidden files and you can do this show these back by using unhide and all you need to do here now you may want to run this as administrator and that will be a simple case of right clicking and running as administrator and once you get this up it's going to process the C drive it will see if you've got hidden files and folders it will then try to show those files and folders you can also use another method which will be in a command prompt ok that's now finished now you may have issues with your start menu as it says and that's ok because we can fix that out with another tool and this tool is going to be for Windows 7 now if you've got Windows XP Windows Vista or anything like that this program will run on there and it will cause issues but this is the Windows 7 version I will put the links for XP and Vista in the description for 32-bit and 64-bit we would need to do here is do the same thing is run this and this will fix your start menu obviously mine's not broken but I'm going to do it on this video just to show you and that will be that and all that's doing really is fixing your start menu I'm going to remove this here but there is loads of different tools you can use if you still have the files that you've got bat files that you can use like this which will copy the files SMTMP files the one two three four which will be in your temp folder so that's why it's important not to delete them and it will copy those files back you can also use this method by right clicking on the start button here going properties make sure the start menu tab is highlighted here and then go custom and re-enable them down through here by putting your ticks in okay and then click it okay 
when you've got the re uh, use default settings here. So I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed my videos, hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favorite my videos. And I'll be doing more videos again in the future. Now if you've got any video requests, then send me a, a message on YouTube and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. And uh, have a great weekend there, guys. And I'll be making more videos again shortly. Bye for now.